News at 9 starts right now. Tonight, we're getting a better idea of just how many businesses and homes were impacted by the floodwaters in Moab over the weekend. Damage assessments are still being done, but it comes as the tourist town is preparing for a very busy upcoming holiday weekend. Fox 13 News anchor Brian Schnee joins us tonight in studio after looking into more of the damage and speaking to folks about visitors coming to town as they continue to clean up. Brian. Bob and Kelly, good evening. Just a devastating and messy weekend for many in Moab. The big message, though, is while they're still cleaning up and in many cases rebuilding in Moab, the people I spoke with today want to remind out of town visitors, despite a different look in some parts of town, many businesses are already back open and they want you to come visit. It was just from the get go. It was just um, get to work and get it cleaned up and get back open. Just days after flash flood waters roared through downtown Moab. Some businesses have been able to reopen. Of course, there's some devastating loss for sure. Um, but overall, the attitude is just um, will deal. Moab is a year-round tourism destination, and the economy relies on visitation. The flooding this weekend took place just days before another key tourism time period. We are gearing up for one of our, you know, peak seasons, which is fall. September, Labor Day really um, kicks off a really good season for us in the fall. Damage assessments are well underway. There's a 15-day post-disaster period called the Preliminary Damage Assessment, where numbers need to be turned into the state to see what will qualify for financial relief. These are pictures shared with us of some of the areas that received damage, giving a look inside some of the hotels that had feet of water and debris inside some of their rooms. A lot of the businesses there on Main Street are uh, at least affected. Whitney Coonrod spent a few days in Moab assessing the damage for the Utah Department of Emergency Management. Homes, we have a lot of people that are definitely affected. Um, I heard today that there are at least 10, 10 families that are displaced. Um, we have a couple homes that are being condemned. Coonrod, who has assessed a handful of disasters of this magnitude in her career, says that roughly 15 businesses suffered what's considered major damage, which is beyond basic cosmetic repair. Her biggest takeaway from the past few days is the resiliency in Moab. They really come together and take care of their own. Locally in Grand County, they're calling the rebuilding and coming together Moab Strong. Most importantly for potential visitors, if you have a hotel reservation, it's a good idea to call and double check with that place that you booked just to see if the flooding damage has really put them out. Live in studio tonight, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.